partitioning the numbers 6 to 9. We are going to look at partitioning the numbers 6 to 9. This means looking at how they can be broken down into smaller numbers. But we are only going to look at how many ways we can break them into two numbers. OK, let's look at all the ways we can partition 6 into two numbers. 6 is the same as 5 and 1. And 1 and 5. 6 is the same as 4 and 2. And 2 and 4. 6 is the same as 3 and 3. Now let's look at 7. 7 is the same as 5 and 2. And 2 and 5. 7 is the same as 6 and 1. And 1 and 6. 7 is the same as 3 and 4. And 4 and 3. Now the number 8. 8 is the same as 5 and 3. And 3 and 5. 8 is the same as 6 and 2. And 2 and 6. 8 is the same as 7 and 1. And 1 and 7. And 8 is the same as 4 and 4. The number 9. 9 is the same as 5 and 4. And 4 and 5. 9 is the same as 6 and 3. And 3 and 6. 9 is the same as 7 and 2. And 2 and 7. And 9 is the same as 8 and 1. And 1 and 8. We're going to finish by going over the most important ways to partition the numbers 6 to 9 once more. First, there are the bonds with 5. So, 6 is the same as 5 and 1. 7 is the same as 5 and 2. 8 is the same as 5 and 3. 9 is the same as 5 and 4. And finally, 6 and 8 are special because they are even numbers and they can be broken down into two numbers that are the same. So, 6 is the same as 3 and 3. And 8 is the same as 4 and 4. OK, that's the partitioning for the numbers 6 to 9. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more.